Time to roll the ants are floating down the farther shore of the mine. Sorry about that, I accidentally left the camera on 45 RPM. Welcome to Sunday Spinning Sunday, I'm Ryan. And yes, I'm wearing that shirt again. 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 I'm wearing my My Morning Jacket shirt again because I wanted to talk about them in this episode and their newest album, The Waterfall, which came out a few months ago. You might remember the episode where I bought it at Cheapies. There it is, guys. My Morning Jacket's new album. My Morning Jacket is an American band from Louisville, Kentucky. I got obsessed with this band. Uh, there was something about them. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy James. Jimmy James. That's the front man. Secure Tile was the first album I listened to, and then I kind of went backwards from there. Evil Urges, Z, It Still Moves, At Dawn, and The Tennessee Fire. I'm hoping to get another My Morning Jacket album on vinyl because they're one of my favorite bands, yet I don't have any of their other albums except The Waterfall. And it's probably going to be between Z and It Still Moves. And I think I'm going to lean a little bit more towards Z. Listen to Z, it's their highest acclaimed album. Uh, it Still Moves is really, really awesome too. Amazing songs like uh, Golden, one of my favorites, Run Through, Steam Engine, One Big Holiday, and I love the cover with the bear. But Z has a very interesting cover too. It's really, really, really bizarre. So yeah, My Morning Jacket's musical style is kind of... I don't know, it's, uh, it's odd. They're just like in that zone of classic, psychedelic, amazing weirdness. I don't know, Jim James, his voice is so, so distinctive itself. It's his voice, I don't know, it's mesmerizing. Evil Urge is another amazing album that I really do want to get, especially because I would love to hear Touch Me, I'm Gonna Scream Part 2 on vinyl. Part 1 is awesome, but Part 2 takes the cake, finishing the album with uh, good intentions. <laughs> If you touch me, So yeah, I'm actually here to talk about the waterfall, so let's just dive right into that. Beautiful art. I just the colors, the waterfall, the whole concept is amazing. It's a double LP. It's a 45 RPM. It's actually heavy weight pressing of 180, I believe. Oh, I love the rainbow label. When that spins, it's just. So because they pressed it on 45 RPM, uh, there's only usually about two to three songs per side. So let me go through each of the four sides. Here we have side one, uh, which starts off with the song Believe and gets you ready for a little journey down the river. And song number two, Compound Fracture, which has a beat that is undeniably amazing. And Like a River has that kind of flow. In its infancy, starts off side two. It only has two songs on that side, and it's in its infancy and get the point. You put the needle on the line and it just kept skipping, skipping. But then comes side number three. It's a contender for a favorite side of this album. It starts off with Spring, Among the Living. This is the first song that I heard off the waterfall. And then Thin Line, one of my favorites right there. I just, I love, I love it. I just love it, okay? And then another single on the album, Big Decisions. So that makes side three, like, jam-packed with amazing. And then we have one more side. Probably my favorite song on the album, which is Tropics. This is probably the heaviest song on the album, which is contrasted probably with one of the slowest songs on the album, Only Memories Remain. There you have it, My Morning Jacket's The Waterfall. Solid album, one of my favorites from 2015, definitely. Please tell me, what's your favorite My Morning Jacket album? This has been Sunday Spinning Sunday. I'm Ryan. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Keep on spinning. Bye. Well, I'm going to the Delta where I can have my fun. Oh, I'm going to the Delta. And I hope you get the point. The episode is done.